away. At 70, he is the oldest of the island. He lives in this makeshift camp with a handful of friends. Who's the sheriff? Yeah, I'm the sheriff. She's the CIA. I need my star. Yeah, that's what I need. Arriving in the Keys 40 years ago, Jeep originally lived on a boat. Three years ago, a hurricane swept everything away. And this is where they are. So, he settled here. I made this. Everything. Five gallon buckets. There's five, there's a thousand gallons of rock. Here. Leveled it up so it's all level. About a month ago I put this one up. This is new. They last about a year. Even though it lives like a Robinson, Jeep wants to stay comfortable. So he got it all planned out. A gas stove for the kitchen. A room with a tent, which he uses as a closet to store all his things. No mosquitoes. There is also one for friends who are visiting. I don't rent them, they're free. This is for my, for my, for my guests, for my friends. To have electricity, Jip installed solar panels. 200 watt solar panels and I've got big batteries and even a generator that runs on gasoline in case of heavy consumption air conditioner this installation allows it to power a whole bunch of electrical appliances like his tablet and his television even if he's cut off from the world, he wants to stay connected and lead an almost ordinary life. I can drink muddy water, sleep in a hollow log, or I can live. Good. What do you choose? When it arrived in the Keys, Jeep was hoping to succeed in music. This city didn't choose him, but he got used to it eventually. Today, he is proud of it. Well, I love living here. I'm good. That's my front yard. In recent years, thanks to its inhabitants, this island has become a real curiosity, and it also attracts tourists. Oh, oh Jared, it's so It's afternoon. This Key West resident is showing off the island to his friend who arrives from Chicago in the northern United States. The 30-year-old vacationing in the Keys absolutely wanted to see it with his own eyes. He's taking a video of the greatest place I've ever seen before. I never experienced this. It's crazy how people can live here. It's complete freedom out here. You know what I mean? You don't. There's nothing going on out here but positive good things. So like. You know, everybody's fighting over money in Key West. We're out here. They're like building Osprey Towers and doing awesome stuff for nature and kids living how kids need to be living. Several times a week, the Dean of the Robinsons and performs street shows. Okay, you got me down good and tight? Magic tricks. Okay, folks. I don't know exactly what's happening here, but uh, <laughs> hey, what you doing? And a ventriloquism show. Hey, I'm trying to figure out how to make money. Hey, lady. To lady. entertain tourists, Jeep spares no effort. But today it has competition, and it is difficult to captivate spectators. Very hard. So I'm going to try to get one more show off. One more quick show, folks! Fortunately, the street artist can rely on his faithful companion, a dog that he trained himself. In less than five minutes, the crowd was won over. In total, Jeep has amassed just over 120 euros. Come on, give it to the dog. That's okay. Don't make it change. That's all right. A good recipe and something to go back to your island with some provisions for the party. Vagabonds, tourists, locals, everyone gathers around the campfire. And guitars. It's like that almost every night.
No other place like this. Wisteria Island has a hippie atmosphere against the tide of American consumer society. This alternative culture is gaining more and more followers because a very worrying new danger threatens the keys.